Welcome back to Raznafsar TV. The following video demonstrates and shows how um, to mount a Persian or Turkish quiver on a belt and how to adjust the balance strap on the inside face. As you know, each quiver has a slightly different type of mounting on its inside face the one against the body, so one has its balance strap passing through pairs of slits in the body of the quiver, while the other uses applied straps. These methods are based on a quiver in Karlsruhe and one in Kessel, as our team member Pete Dwyer informed us. One you're going to need that. Uh, so you want to start now? Yep. Okay, what we're going to do is show how to adjust um, Turkish and Persian quivers with three straps. Uh, as you can see, if you just hold the belt out, the quiver's hanging almost vertically, which isn't your preferred position. You actually want your quiver to be at about 45 degrees. To do that, the third strap at the back can be adjusted. As you can see, it runs through slots. This is one of the ways that these straps are adjusted. Um, it's not the only way, and uh, depending on whether you're going to change straps often or things like that, it's probably not the best way, but it's definitely historical. So what I've done is loosened up the loop, and now I'm going to pull it through, and I'm going to do the same on the other one. So I'm pulling the loop out, lifting it up, making sure I've got something there, and pulling it through. Now, these are roughly right, this one's a little bit not right. This is quite a tight thing, so you can, you can get them to roughly right, not have that tight and fix it. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna pull them up through here. So two straps go through here, a top one and a bottom one. So once you've got a bit of space, you can pull up the bottom one, which pulls the top one, and do the same thing here. Pull the bottom one, or pull the top one to give yourself enough space to get your finger in, and then pull the bottom one. This is great fun. I used to like this, but now I'm not quite so sure because there is a little bit of fiddling with them. So the bottom one is a little bit too long on this, so it's Getting close to the right angle, what we've got to do is, is, is tighten this one up a little bit to, to get it right. So we want to get these all nice and even. I'm going to pull, hold this down, pull this one a little bit. That's even. Then we've got to pull this one down. Holding this one in place. So that they're even there. Then we can just pull this out till it's all laying flat and even and then we just go around under and out you can sew these on you can you can rivet them but if you want to actually change it and 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 sometimes what works really well when you're standing isn't as good when you're on horseback and if you want to do horseback stuff you want to you want to have that facility to adjust. A lot of the surviving ones which are in German collections and in Topkapi and, and uh, in, uh, in Russia as well, in Poland, this is all being permanently attached because it's for one person they got it right and uh, that's all they needed to do. Now I'm just adjusting this strap. With quivers like this, thin straps are better because if, for instance, you're on horseback and your quiver catches on a branch or a tree, you don't want to be pulled off the horse. It's better to have the quiver pulled off. Now, no, I didn't make this for me, so <laughs> it was made for a thin person. Uh, as you can see, that's, oh, I've got something in there. 
wearing too many clothes, too many attachments. Now, the position should be, when an arrow's in this, I was just pulling my pants belt around, that wasn't a good plan. When an arrow's in this, the weight of the arrows will make it sit just there. And when you're drawing your arrow out, you want to pull like that. So, you're not, you're not reaching around or anything, you're not even looking. You put your hand on the arrow, you pull straight out, and then you're ready to shoot. So, that's how to adjust one, and there's, there's still a bit of adjustment in this. You can keep dropping that lower, and you do that on the individual person that's going to wear it, and that will get it perfectly right. Now say, here we've got a quiver, and we've got the quiver belt. So this is how you mount the quiver on the quiver belt. The quiver belt, in this case, like that one, has slots in it for the two front straps, these two here. So the long strap goes into the front slot. This is the strap that is used for adjusting the, um, the pitch of the quiver basically. We'll, we'll do it up to the top one first. These I haven't put, I haven't put um, keepers on to hold the straps down because a lot of the times apparently they didn't. And if you look at some of the surviving quivers, they've gone to the extent where they've just repaired them in the field and just tied a couple of, of um, thongs through them. As long as they're sitting right, they work. So now, that's the basic thing. We haven't got the back strap attached. That's the quiver sitting. We've got, uh, that's a fairly good angle actually, not too bad. This, this quiver mount has an integral D on the metal fitting at the back. The, this is the most common way of doing it. Um, it's difficult to get these of the right size. They're usually too big. So you, you can slide your strap through until you get your buckle just where you want it. Now you've got the support strap at the back, right? Before you do this, you have a look at your quiver and say, ah, how far do I want to go? I want to go maybe another seven centimeters, something like that. So this one is a little bit easier. This is the other way that these straps are attached at the back. It's quite easy to adjust this one. So um, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to make this longer. So we just do that. Loosen it up, you don't even have to take it off. Of course it's not as tight. Make it longer so that one's not there. The thing is to keep them both roughly the same. Pull that one up a little bit more. Now this will give us close to what we want. And with this one you just pull it. Much easier. Um, you tighten them up. Like that. Now, we're going to slip this on the belt. This, this belt has an integral adjustment at the back, so you can position it with the, the belt hooks and everything in the right place. So we just slip the belt through the loop. And you have the option of using the, the keepers and the buckles as a help in positioning to get it just to where you want it. I would tend to put it there. So when you put the belt on, it goes on like this. You uh, put the belt hook in. The end of the belt just tucks in. You didn't wear it dangling, because if you wear it dangling and you get on a horse, you can tighten yourself up in a way you don't want to. Now, this support, I'll get that out of the way. This support, usually you have right on the point of your hip. So that when you're standing there, your hand is naturally going to where the arrow is going to be. And when you shoot, you're ready.
And as you can see, you don't need anything more on this. You, again, you can trim these down if you want to, but you don't need a um, leg strap or anything. When you mount a horse with one of these, and let's pretend I'm gonna step up into a stirrup. What happens is the quiver, this strap here, kind of slides out of the way and the whole quiver, oh, I'm, this is going to look really silly, <laughs> but the whole quiver sits a little bit more horizontal but not much and then when you're on the other side of the horse it sits back in place. Now I'll show you putting a bow case on. This style of bow case is worn with the bow facing backwards. Um, there are two ways that these are done. Sometimes they have a single thing, sometimes they have a double. But it's basically you take your belt, put it through the loop. There's usually a loop on one side. I sometimes make them with the loop coming out between the top and bottom, but this is not necessary or in fact necessarily a good thing. And when you put it on, if I haven't turned the belt around, which I just did, you're going to argue with me, aren't you? That's good. It also goes on the point of the opposite hip. So you get your quiver position. The advantage of having the bow, bow case slide is you, you might be putting on a different number of layers of clothes between summer and winter and when you do it up, you don't want your bow case to be here or back there, so you just position it to the correct position. With a, uh, if you're wearing a sword underneath this, the sword often will hold the bow case in the, in the right position and it looks quite good. So you see this, if I get this right at the back, that should be pretty much in the middle of my back. And um, there you go.